and welcome back to another weekly vlog. First thing we're gonna do is talk about the henna brows and how it's been. I have absolutely freaking loved it. I'm so glad that I posted about that stupid, well, it wasn't stupid, but if, if you want an affordable brow tint, the stuff that I was sharing a couple of weeks ago was what opened the door to my friend Nicole saying, well, you should try henna if you like brow stains. And that brow stain that was supposed to be a three day brow stain does work, but three days isn't really enough for me. Six to eight weeks is how long this should last, which is a bit of a commitment, but I love it. I love it so much. So this was two days ago that I got this done. I've washed my face a couple of times. I've been really careful not to scrub too many oils and things into the brow. All I did today was these two things. So I still do the Morphe and I just squish it up. So any sort of brow gel though, you know, I'm just using the Morphe because it's the new one I just got. I just did a couple of strokes of the Lift and Snatch and hopefully I won't have to do that every time because I did order all of the supplies so that I can start doing henna and I wanna practice doing little strokes of hair in the center so that I can just do that and be done. I would love, my dream has always been, <laughs> to be one of those girls that wakes up and just pushes their hair up with some gel, their brows are done for the most part. That has been my dream and I've never been able to be that girl ever since I overplucked back in the day. As you know, I'm obsessed about brows <laughs> in general and just, constantly changing up all the different ways that I can do them. Kind of my focus, obviously, just too, because I went to PMU school and got my license and certification. Being a PMU, brows are kind of my thing, but you feel like you're always, you're always an apprentice. <laughs> You feel like you're never a pro. And I want to be the pro. I want to have brows down and I want to be an example of it. I don't want to be one of those people that you look at and you're like, you're going to show me how to do brows just because you want to make sure you vibe and you like the style of the person that's doing that service to you. That's how I feel. So I'm like, I got to set a good example. I'm also excited about doing a little freckling with the henna when it comes. I used all, got all the same stuff that she has. So she's really into like organic and natural products and I knew that she would use products that I would also like and so I just basically reordered the exact same stuff that she uses. So that should all be coming. I'm really excited about it. Now let's move on to little updates on the skincare. Another thing when I was at Nicole's is she gave me some product. The reason is is because I'm actually going to be doing some content for her but I also get to play. I also get to use it. Some of the stuff, oh, here it is. Some of the stuff that she gave me, this is like my new facial oil, by the way. <laughs> this is so good. As you know, when I've been getting ready with my YSL, if you've been here, <laughs> paying attention, I got the YSL skincare tint and I love it. And I was using this underneath it, which I still really like. The Conserving Beauty Conserve You Facial Oil. I do really like it. The only thing is, is that this doesn't have a fragrance to it. This does. This smells like going to a spa. When I get ready in my morning, it's my ritual. I like to sit and put on music or a podcast or something. And I just do my makeup and zone out. So having things that are kind of aromatherapy really matters to me. This has jojoba, camellia oil. It's infused with frankincense, rosehip, mugwort. So we have all sorts of amazing stuff in here, but it smells like you're going to a spa. Today, what we're gonna do together though, is I'm gonna actually see what I have locally because all of these places are all the way up in Seattle and I'm more further south. I wanna see what I've got around here. So I'm gonna grab a coffee. We're gonna go walk around and see what salons just feel good. And I'm gonna write all of their names down and then reach out to them and kind of, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stalk them a little bit on social media first. I just gotta make sure that we're gonna vibe because I'm a very particular person. <laughs> so I need to make sure we're gonna get along. It's One more thing I wanted to mention and then we're gonna get going is this is the lip color. I am such a makeup hoarder. This is the Christian Louboutin lipstick that my husband got me for Christmas last year. And I always just put it back in the box and I sit it on a shelf and then I forget about it because I'm hoarding it. Well, not today i have decided to whip it out and actually wear it so that i'm getting some use out of it and anyway so that's the lipstick i have on today i actually didn't do any liner with it or anything it's just that that's it for now let me show you my outfit here's the outfit of the day i'm wearing that uh lovely dress that i thrifted in sacramento on our trip i'm so glad i grabbed this dress it's so nice because it's almost like a black jean this dress i feel like is just so versatile like i'll be able to wear so many different things underneath it i love it when i'm wearing a fully thrifted outfit it's one of my favorite things i don't know why but i just get excited when i'm like oh my god everything i have on i thrifted the rebecca minkoff purse to match the boots and 
we're good. The first thing I want to do just to walk around because it's like such an autumnal day with leaves falling and like wisping around and it just feels like one of those days where a coffee in hand <laughs> would be very nice. Let's see what we can find. And uh, yeah, this is also where I do get my nails done, but I won't be doing that today. This is a pumpkin spice latte a la Olympia coffee. Look at all the Halloween decorations in everybody's windows. So this is the area. It just gives me good vibes. I'm gonna walk around and look for store spaces and maybe salons. This is the deal. I wanna go like upstairs into a studio. This is how I picture it. Something kind of like this. And there's this vintage bowling alley right here. How cute. The place that I just went actually did have space available, but she wants it like a monthly rent. Not sure if I'm willing to commit to that, but I'm just weaving down these side streets to see what I can find. We have yet to come to this restaurant, but look at how cute. It's like a little house. Uh, so I walked the shops in the area and I feel like I made some connections, which is good. That was the goal. I can't think of anywhere else I'd want to be around here, but I would like to explore ideas and options of different little nooks and crannies of places that I might enjoy, but I do really like this because it's just such a cute little town area. As you saw, there's restaurants, coffee shop, but I'll update you more. I'm gonna get out of this parking space because I feel like people are gonna want it. So let's move on. I'm at the grocery store. My husband was, when he went out of town, he was staying at a friend's house and they're really big into like farm eating, like almost keto-y kind of, uh, local only. And the wife fed him the whole time and he said that all the food just tasted different. We were talking about the different types of oils you cook with and how olive oil technically isn't supposed to be heated up past a certain amount. And this is something I've already known, but I got avocado oil one time and it was really hard to find and um, just like at our grocer like they were always out so he was told to try ghee which I've heard of and I've just never used it and ghee is like a natural good fat so I, we just got some of that and we're gonna try switching to our uh, we're trying to switch our cooking oils to see if that makes a difference in just our health I know that gut health can be affected by cooking oils up the ghee <laughs> So now we will be able to cook with this. This stuff is expensive though. We got like this really crazy expensive organic ghee. Well, my husband did, so he's like all about this stuff. So I'll be cooking with that for the week and I will let you know. This is another thing. So when he was at his friends, they did this Mocha Express like Italian coffee. But anyway, he ordered this because he was like obsessed with the type of coffee they were making. So he got one of these and then he has little espresso mugs. It was so funny for him to come back from his weekend away with his friends and then have all these like new things that he's all about. He is like, we gotta start doing this. So it's just fun. It's like, you know, sure, I'll cook with ghee, whatever. <laughs> whatever you think, babe. I just think it's cute. What happened? Why are you acting weird? What did you do? When his tongue is out like that, he's been doing something weird. <laughs> Something must have happened. I don't like it. What's going on? You're being weird. But anyway, so we're gonna go pumpkin picking. I'm contemplating if I just wanna wear this. I mean, it's pretty cute. I'm gonna be able to tell my therapist I went across the bridge that gives me anxiety, but I didn't drive. If I was driving right now, I'd, I'd be in trouble. Just, just so you know. It's, I've gotta undo this. Easy, it's not that. 
It's, it's the not being able to escape. I can't get off. In every other scenario, it has nothing to do with me thinking this bridge is going to fall into the ground. It's the lack of out. And that's what agoraphobia is when you are afraid of stuck. So like, if I ever feel like I can't get my hair done because I can't leave the chair when I'm in the middle of getting bleached. So I get, I feel stuck. to the next day. I, as I said yesterday, I'm going to get ready with you, but I actually really am kind of in a rush. So this is perfect. This is going to be a timed, I'm going to stop watch it, how long it takes me to do my makeup in the morning. The reason why I'm in a hurry is because we have doggies coming. Two of them are being dropped off and I want to close off the upstairs area. And I know that if I have four dogs downstairs and I'm up here with it fenced off, they're all going to freak out. So I figured let's get ready quickly. I, I'm sweating because I just mowed the lawn. It's just been dumping rain and then we had two sunny days in a row and it just sprouted. Got it done, mowed the lawn, went around and did all the poo cleanup. So we have a fresh start. Stopwatch has been started. My face has nothing on it. I have skincare from last night. Golden Glow Facial Oil. I kind of want this downstairs. Or you know what, maybe, which one do I want to be my skincare skincare? Like I have two oils. I want one downstairs for my nighttime skincare and I want one upstairs. I feel like this would be so amazing at night just because it smells so like, you know, aromatherapy smells lovely. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the YSL. I hate watching a timer countdown. It makes me feel spastic. So we're just gonna go at our own pace, but not feel like that thing is like counting away our lifespan. That's just the skincare by itself. I really feel like I need less coverage over my skin because it's been evening itself out a little bit since I'm not wearing stuff on it every single day. Now we're gonna conceal. The redness just where we need it today is going to be a lot of just doggy plays and fun but I also need to work I have some content to edit I did the skincare before I uh, freeze my brows and that's gonna be a problem yesterday my brows fell <clears throat> and in a photo I took of us by the waterfront my this side had fallen down and was no longer like bushy and feathery but I still had the strokes sticking up. So the strokes were up, but it didn't match. I was like, dang it, see, this is what I'm trying to avoid. Bronze. And this is literally what I do every day, just in case I walk to the store. I mean, I do plan on maybe going to the store later. So when Lyle gets home, he could take over doggy duty and I will leave. And I have to go get like coffee creamer and things like that for the weekend. We had so much fun yesterday. Uh, we, well, <laughs> we kind of did. We went to go find a pumpkin patch. We found, we Googled and it had these little pumpkins that were popping up on the Google map. I wanted to take my car and I wanted to do the drive through the rest of the back of, like, cause it's beautiful out in Gig Harbor. It's really woodsy and there's tall pines and the neighborhoods are just beautiful. And I was like, I want to do the driving, but you've got to get me across the bridge. I cannot drive across that bridge. I had kava. I took all of like my beta blocker like stuff and I prepared and I sat there thinking, am I going to be able to do this? And I panicked and I said I couldn't. So he drove us across the bridge. 
I can always drive back. I just can't drive there. Uh, it's something about going away from the house and something in my wiring is just tripped ever since I had that panic attack on that bridge. Uh, it's been really challenging for me. So he drove us across and then he, we pulled off and I took over. And so then I drove us back to this place that said Pumpkin Patch and it ended up just being a Dahlia farm, a cut your own Dahlia farm, which I'm glad we found it. It was really out in the middle of nowhere. I'm glad we found it, but I... I don't, um, there was no pumpkins and it didn't allow pets, which we should have known already. Like pumpkin patches aren't gonna be pet friendly. Could you imagine the chaos? I was perfectly happy with just saying, never mind, we'll have to go another time because all the other pumpkin patches are out in the farm area uh, between Seattle and Tacoma. And it's it was during rush hour. It would have taken way too long to go get a pumpkin. And we knew we didn't have time this weekend to do it because of all the dogs coming. So I was fine with just going to the farmer's market and getting one. And he was like, well, no, this one just popped up. So we started driving. <laughs> well, the GPS took us to the most sketchy place I've ever seen in my life. It was backwoods. It was this little trailer that looked almost like run down. And it said attack cat on the front of it with all these cameras. It was really weird. It was really, really weird. And it was not... A pumpkin farm. At that point, the dogs are crying because they haven't, like, they're like, what are we doing? They think that we're going to a park because anytime they get in the car and go anywhere with us, that's usually what that means. Something fun is coming for them. And so they're, like, crying and have to go to the bathroom. And we're, we've been driving around now for, like, an hour, just getting lost, lost out in the middle of nowhere. He said, well, before we head back, because we gave up, we are like, this is, it's getting dark and everything's going to be closed, so we don't have time. And he's like, well, before we go back, let's go to this waterfront park that keeps popping up and we'll walk the dogs. We drove up to it and it says closes at dusk. It was just about dusk. So we're like, let's just go in. Let's hope that they don't lock the gate while we're in here and take a lovely little stroll along the water at sunset. And it was the most amazing beach, completely secluded. There was one woman on the pier and that was it. There was nobody else out there. And it was just us and this beach because she ended up leaving and we were all alone. And it was so beautiful and the, the sound of the water and oh, just the like, uh, you know, like the serenity of this beautiful, beautiful place was just like everything I could have ever asked for. I'm just going to put on a lip serum for now. And then I think I just lost my freckles when I blushed because I usually do it the other way. So I'm just going to, sometimes I do like to layer it up though, because it really adds to the drama of the freckles having all these different layers. So I like the way that looks. This is a real freckle. This is now a real freckle. This is new. There's actually one up here too. And then this is the OG. I've been doing this one for years because it's just nude on my face. And we're done. Stop. 11 minutes and 46 seconds and honestly it would have been faster if I had not been talking to you and distracted by text messages. So that is my daily makeup. Look who's here! Look who's here! This is Lucia. We were gonna call her Lou. And then this is Odie. And Odie, Otis has been coming here since he was just a little baby. Yes he has. He is an OG. He is an OG. But she's new. I'm new. Just a few months old really. Well, I think she's probably, I think she's probably six or seven now. I actually don't know how many months. Puppies are what we wear. <laughs> oh, ew. <laughs> you guys, we have a friend coming tomorrow. Another, another puppy. Oh my goodness. What are we gonna do with another puppy? That's so many. That's so many. Mm -hmm. I couldn't love you more. I couldn't. Oh, goodness, my precious. I love you so much. It's the next day and I have the most brilliant plan for somebody who is, sorry, I, I showered and then I slept on my hair and that is always interesting in the morning to see what shape it takes. <laughs> we had a very early morning drop off. Mia, the Lhasa Opso who's been coming here 
for years since COVID. And uh, this is why I can't, I can't say no. Cause I'm like, if I say no, I'll never see them again. How does one stop seeing a dog that they've been watching for years? It's hard. I'll tell you, it's hard. That's why I'm like, maybe I just won't do anymore because I don't know if I can fall in love with another. <laughs> Cause then sometimes I don't see them again because you know, the owner moves or finds a sitter close by. It's things have happened or just maybe they didn't like me. I don't know. Who knows? It's possible. I mean, I don't know how that could possibly be fault. <laughs> I think there's probably a handful of people out there who are just like, God, her voice, <laughs> you know, I would hope not, but I swear if you met me in person, I'm even more obnoxious. Just kidding. Okay. Gosh, am, is my microphone on? Cause I feel like I'm doing stand up. I've decided to make this a very festive day. We're Halloweening the fuck out of it. We're Halloweening all over the place. It's Halloween diarrhea. Halloween Araya. Nope. Doesn't work. Can't put those two words together. Dioween. <laughs> so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some fun nails. I'm gonna do some Halloween nails because I have a product that I wanna do a video, but I want it to have a lot of my hands in it. And right now I have been chewing myself to death. There's just no chance of me ever growing my nails out. Old habits die hard. I wanna do a Halloween nail, but something that's just press on. And I do want them to still look natural. I don't want the long, big, crazy nail. I want them to be shorter, cause this is for a skincare line. But I was thinking of doing the like eyeball. And so I'm gonna attempt to paint that with my nail paint kit. I haven't busted that puppy out since the last time I did a creative blog with it. And I didn't buy all this stuff and all these supplies to make these creative nails to do nothing with it. So we're going to do that, but the reason why it's gonna be Halloween-y is because I'm gonna do creepy nails, well, cool, kind of cool creepy. So I'm gonna have on Hocus Pocus, and I'm gonna do this. I'm also gonna bake some pumpkin cookies later, and it's gonna be fun. Show everybody your underbite. Show everybody your beautiful underbite. She says, I'm blonde and beautiful. I love it. Like I'm absolutely in love with this. To me, it's calming. It's a calming thing. I kind of want to do another set just because I'm having fun and put on Hocus Pocus too. <laughs> I might do that, but I really do need to move on and do the work. So let's uh, let's get these finished. I am just sitting here filming this uh, reel, but I wanted to show you guys the nails because they're done. How freaking fun are those. I definitely need to get a good picture with them because they're so neat. Anyway, um, that's going to be it for now. I'm going to clean this mess up. Oh my God. The table. Look. Look at this table. <laughs> Look at these little poof babies. <laughs> and Tina in her favorite chair. <laughs> have mostly all gone home. We have one left and uh, gosh, last night trying to sleep with those five dogs in the bed, your girl got no sleep, <laughs> none. I just kept waking up every time one of them would jump up off the bed, jump down, jump up, jump down, jump up, jump down. I looked at one point over at my husband and he had, uh, one of the dogs was standing on him and like whisper barking into his ear, like oh, oh, and wagging his tail. And it was like 2.30 AM. And I was just like, dude, 
it was a bit much. Uh, but yeah, we, I somehow got through the night, fell asleep and, um, I'm tired. I'm very tired. And then I ended up having to do some more work for that video today. So this whole day has been editing basically. I started to pre-edit this video and I realized I didn't end it. Please do subscribe if you're not. Uh, that'd be a big help to me. That's all I've got. Next week, I don't really have a clue what we're going to get into, so <laughs> it'll be interesting. I always come up with something and it excites me every time. I'm like, that's what I'm going to do. And then it's just like this whole, yeah, it's very entertaining for me. Thank you for being a viewer. It really is such an entertaining outlet for me. It means the world. It is something that I'm starting to realize more and more, especially in therapy, <laughs> that I need it. It is a outlet and it is a means for me to feel like I'm producing something on my terms and that's a very important thing for me. I've come to realize so if only it was my full-time job. If only. I, I dream of that day. I wish that that day ever came. It's not looking likely <laughs> because of the snail-like pace that this channel is going at. I mean I put out a video every week every week and I appreciate the growth and the views that I've gotten but it, god it couldn't go slower it can be discouraging but I don't do it for that reason so I just need to remind myself that that I make this for the people that do watch me and do enjoy them and do love it and for the creative outlet that I need to be able to be happy so thank you for that and um I think that's all I've got so I'll see you guys next week whatever we've got going on Thank you.